Donald Trump is in court, he's in trouble, and it's only gonna keep on getting worse. Let's take a peek at Donnie's legal situation. And in case you're new here, I'm Kirsten Lakes, an author and intuitive, and you can find more videos like this at thirdeyechampagne.com. So Trump took to, I don't know, whatever he's on these days, Truth Social probably, he took to whatever, and he, he started blasting people that were working in the, the court. I think it was the clerk, and he's blasting people, and the, the judge says, all right, buddy, um, you're not allowed to do that. Apparently, he's also huffing and puffing and harumphing his way through his trial at this point. You know, <laughs> I said they're going to hit him in the pocketbook. They're going to keep hitting him in the pocketbook. He's already, you know, being, I think, it, is it a conviction already? Is it already a conviction? Honestly, the guy's got so much going on, I'm not sure. But as far as the business entity goes, the guy is in trouble. The net worth is falling. Let's do a little checkup on Trump's Oh, Trumpy. On Trump's legal situation. First of all, we see the heavy hand of fate. That's right, the Wheel of Fortune card is here. The chickens are coming home to roost. They're just gonna keep on roosting and shitting on his head. He's just gonna get it. I'm just gonna tell you, he's gonna get it. He is gonna get it bad. Really, really bad. I, if Trump were my client, I'd be like, bro, plea out. Get out of there flee the country, you know, not that I can advise people to do illegal things because I can't, it's probably illegal for him to flee the country, but I, I mean, I would be telling him, listen, it's coming down on you, Trump. It's, I'm telling you right now, Donald, it is coming down on you. It's gonna come down on your kids. It's not good. You are in trouble, capital T. He's in deep shit, Arkansas. It's going to move very swiftly, so, a lot of like do unto others, you know, right? I really do live by that. I really live by that. This guy did unto others really badly for a very long time and now it's going to be done unto him. The past comes back to bite him in his juicy ass. He's gonna continue to try to manipulate the legal system. It's not going to work. Final outcome is trouble for this man. No, I don't see him going to prison. I've never seen him going to prison. It's just, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And people are like, well, what about house arrest? What, for like 30 years? It's not gonna happen. It's not going to happen. Even if he gets convicted and he gets jail time, he will figure out a way to stay out of jail. It's not going to happen. He might die before then, he might leave, he might just do appeal after appeal after appeal. And that's not to say he's gonna quote unquote get away with all this stuff. He's not, he's absolutely not. Uh, but he's not gonna get prison time. It's gonna kill his money, it's gonna kill his money. He's lucky he has secret hidden money because he's gonna need it. I'm wondering about his brain. And I'm not one to jump on the dementia train. I'm really not. People, oh, Joe has it, Donald, people back, you know, they were saying that he had it in his term. We're calling it a term, I guess. People kept, oh, he's got, can't you just tell? Can't you just tell he's got the dementia? Can't you tell? And I've never been one to jump on the dementia train. I, I actually worked at a dementia, an Alzheimer's facility, and I, I know what it looks like. Uh, I don't think either one of them have it. I think they're just old. But now looking at Trump, I'm kind of going, okay. I think the stress is messing with him. And if he had anything latent, it's coming out. Or if he had a little bit of cognitive issues, it's getting worse. Because right now he feels confused to me. Because I feel like he's going, and you know, I can channel him very well, unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can channel him very well, but he's going, I don't know, just can't we just do this? It's like when he wanted to like nuke the hurricane. It's like, I don't know, can't we just do this? And it's like, no, dude, you can't do, like you have no understanding of like due process or the way the legal system works or, or how you can get around things like this. So there is an element of confusion here that I have not seen before. Part of him loves the attention, even if it's bad attention. He's worried about his money. He's looking at his money. He's very defensive about his money. This man fears being broke. He's looking for friends in high places. So asking, you know, how is he handling it? What is he doing right now? He's looking for friends in high places. He's looking towards the future. How can I fix it? How can I make it better? What's the plan? He is thinking about running away. Remember I told you he might be taking a, an extended vacation in Dubai. Well, he might be doing that, really. He really might, because he's thinking about, can I just get out of this? Can I just run away? 
They probably won't let him leave the country. I'm assuming somebody has a hold of his passport. If they don't, they're morons. Look at him watching his money, watching his money, watching his money. He is all about watching his money right now. He's terrified of going broke. And I really do wonder if he's gonna bring it on himself because he's so scared of it. And he's always been scared of it. And he grew up with money. So we see him here looking for friends in high places, looking for partnership, looking for someone to rescue him. Expect more shady, nefarious, and bizarre shit out of this guy's mouth. He's he's lying. He's always gonna lie. He can't help himself. It's a big lie, wonderful lie, good lie. I'm just gonna ask total blanket statement legal outcome for Trump. Guides are telling me convictions. Already they're like convictions. Several convictions. Yes, several convictions. Somebody might commute his sentence. <gasps> oh, maybe that's how he gets away with it. Oh my goodness. Maybe that's why there's no jail time. Someone might commute his sentence or, or even pardon him, depending on where he's convicted. Oh my God. Can only Biden do that if it's a federal case? Or whoever the president is, I should say? Because this is going to drag on for years. I think this guy's going to get whatever he's convicted of. I think he's going to get the sentences commuted or, or even get a full on pardon. Oh, that's what he's setting up. He knows he's going to be convicted. He knows he's going to be convicted. He's already going outside of the law to, to, to fix it so he doesn't go to jail. He doesn't care if he's convicted. He only cares if he goes to jail. They can't really do anything about the money. Nobody's going to say, give Trump his money back. They can't. Trump is in his own cards. I asked. Total legal outcome. There's money to pay. But overall, the man is happy. Period. There it is. There it is. Total legal outcome. He's happy. Look at these cards. This man is happy. He's a little clam. He's happy. He is happy with the way it turns out. And I know that's that's probably going to upset a lot of people because somebody, they don't really want a conviction, right? They want a punishment. They're, those are two different things, <laughs> you know? Um, and he doesn't care if he gets convicted as long as he doesn't have to go to prison, as long as he doesn't have to pay too much money. He doesn't care. So he's telling me that, you know what, I'm not really going to live that long to give a shit. He's telling me that. That doesn't mean he's going to croak anytime soon, but he's telling me that flat out. He's like, it's not going to matter to me. I'm not going to live much longer. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching me. If you enjoyed this video, you can find more content like this at thirdeyechampagne.com. And don't forget, I am live the last and first Thursdays of every month on the YT. So come and check me out there for live streams. You can throw in whatever you want to read on. I take requests. It's requests only. And if you have a request, something you want me to read on, put it in the comments below. I read on everything. I like especially the weird stuff. Aliens, past lives, dead celebrities. I love all that kind of stuff. I don't just do celebrities. I don't just do politics, although those are my most requested. But if you have something outside of that, please do 